I'm Mob, if you know me, you know that I love me some Acid Rain World. And while I have been covering most of the stuff that has been coming out in recent memory, that doesn't mean I haven't been a fan from them for a long time. And for the first time on this channel specifically, I'm going to be doing a retro review. And if you know anything about Buck's team, I'm pretty sure you can tell who I'm be covering today. But for today's first ever retro review on TBG, we're breaking down the last line of defense, King from Buck's team. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get it. So pretty simple. Let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to make this one a fast one as I am going to do a follow up after this. So as you can tell, I bought it for a sweet deal of $30 compared to kind of what they're going for right now. This is fairly cheap um, uh, for what you're getting. It's not bad at all. So here we have the last line of defense King Bucks team and as you can tell has all the motifs this is back when they were ori toys i never really went to scronix.com so i'm not exactly sure what that is but this is back before they were doing the containers so what we actually get here is a cardboard sleeve so on the front we get this and on the inside as you can tell this is more of an insert so it says acid rain on the side and again this is what we were seeing a lot of back in the day on the back i showed you guys right here a lot of what we already see but no preview of the actual figure and i'm noticing how much it's missing I, I love that about the new joy toy stuff excuse me acid rain stuff and of course what joy toy is doing with their packaging other side same thing again this just slides right through and then on the top it does say king's bucks team excuse me king bucks team with his logo which does look pretty cool and on the bottom just the usual barcode that we've had for quite some time now let's go ahead and break it down now, before we got those um, beautiful plastic containers that all of us are collecting if we're Joy Toy collectors, we got it like this. So here we have the plastic sleeve on the side, as you can tell the way it looks, and then the actual box that it comes in made out of cardboard, which this was the motif for Acid Rain back in the day, kind of this charred look, which we're still seeing nowadays, right? This is supposed to look like it's wet, but acidic and broken down. And then it just it's just a nice looking box overall. Um, but again, super glad we have the containers now so let me go ahead and actually show you what's on the inside the box opens up like this and then everything continues as you remember basically the character is in there and then you just bring up this um, foam piece up but there is a little bit of a difference so he did come plastic wrap like he did before but right now in this um, retro uh, version he has more of this cut out for his body while the new ones really just kind of sit on top of a bed of foam so that was a little bit different but let's go ahead and crack this guy out and see what he looks like you guys and here he is king himself looking pretty badass i'm going to tell you something this guy has been boxed up for the better part of maybe six months and this is my first time putting hands on him again after touching basically all the acid rain figures that i've had my hands on in the last couple months and damn is there a different feel to this guy um it's hard to explain you'd have to have this guy in your hand if you ever get a chance buy one of these older ones um they are kind of collectibles right now and i am thinking about selling this one but i'm going to tell you right now this just feels very different that's not to say that it doesn't have almost the exact same aesthetic look that we've gotten from other figures of course this looks obviously like um like what we've gotten before but let me go ahead and get into it and let's go ahead and break down the figure so as you can tell coming from the top to the bottom um we've seen this kind of face before um and i want to say it's almost just as well done as some of the other stuff that we've gotten before the king logo um the crown on his uh helmet looks pretty good the coloring in his face looks pretty decent um they've gotten more detailed now but that's okay this was one of the earlier iterations of this kind of figure as as we go into the vest the vest has um it, it has a very one i should say one dimensional um shape to it um it's obviously very 3d it's got the pouches they're all colored in um but this has a very cartoony look to it um i'm sure you guys can can pick up on that right this looks not as realistic as what we've gotten in today's time but still looks very very acid rain-esque um, and i like the fact that there's plenty of color in him and that granulated look that we're so used to getting with acid rain is definitely here throughout the body you can see specks on the right arm and left arm and there's different color palettes all the way through we see basically a blue through the top of the body with some tannish yellow through the shoulders um, right there at the elbows and then a sort of lighter gray blue with some shading throughout the legs 
as you can tell right there. Some gray for the um, knee pads, which is nice. Actually, let me lighten this up for you guys. All right, from top to bottom one more time, let me go ahead and give you that look so you guys can get that good look. A little bit better lighting, a little bit more clear. As you can tell, the granulated look all the way down, the gray pants, the um, gunmetal of the knees, the black of the shin guard, stuff that we've, you know, obviously seen before. And then those boots look very reminiscent of what we've gotten before. If we take a look on the side, we're gonna get take a look at that gun a little bit later, but it looks nice. Again, the uh, metal gray on the elbows, the hands look fine. Um, some of that color and then that's something that we haven't seen in a long time the shoulder joints which obviously this doesn't look nearly as good as what we have today but again acid rain has come a long way and then we have the helmet that for the most part is just one color um doesn't really look like they put any it's just kind of one plastic color all the way through so it doesn't have some of the shading that we've seen before on other acid rain um, helmets which is fine again we're seeing how much um, leaps and bounds that they've done so far um, if we work our way down um, again you can see more of the plastic pieces that make up the vest which again look nice he has a lot of pouches a lot of cuts um, these figures weren't basic in the slightest back when they were being made so they've just made leaps and bounds and that's really nice um, and as we walk in um, further down, we get to see more of the granulated look that you can really see more in the pants and everywhere else. Um, just all those specks that you see, those would be basically acid rain marks. And then obviously the way that the paint has been done, a very rustic look. And guys, this is where acid rain came from, right? Just the whole aesthetic that they've given us so far. This is where it comes from. All right, guys, when it comes to accessories, King does come with a few options. Now, the reason why his helmet isn't on the ground here is because when you already saw it, already went over it. But more importantly, it um, doesn't actually come off. I thought it did, but I guess some of the older stuff didn't actually do that. So, again, those are some other things that we're seeing now that are a step forward, right? Helmets that are removable and have, like, an actual head on the bottom of it. So, that is pretty dope. Um, so, on top of that, the vest does come off, but it's a bit of a hassle. It comes off in two pieces, but, again, we kind of already went over that, so I'm going to go over it specifically the gun so what do we have here he does come with a baton which always made me think he was some kind of police officer now the baton itself is done in an all uh, metallic color and it does look pretty good it's made from a fairly tough plastic this is a fairly strong piece of stiff plastic it has um, basically that's the handle right there where he'd be grabbing it on from i'm not quite understanding why only one side has it and the other one side would be flat like that um, but it does look pretty good and then of course the higher end um, right here so he can beat the hell out of people you know people that are breaking the law not like they don't live in a lawless society already right and then on top of that we do have this clip that goes around his wrist and holds on to the plastic now tell me if you guys can hear this i'm going to clip it together yeah that was <laughs> that was this this is a strong piece of plastic or should i say at least a stiff piece of plastic um, and then he holds it perfectly fine. I'll show you guys in a second. And then this right here is my favorite part of him. Um, this is what, you know, honestly sells us on a lot of this 118 scale stuff is that we get this gun. We've gotten this gun before. This is basically a similar version to what we've gotten with, let's say, the Sand Troopers. If I could just simply, okay. If you look, just so we can get a decent comparison right here, they are fairly similar. Um, to what we've gotten before. And actually, now that I see them next to each other, I realize they're totally different. So who knows what the hell I'm talking about, but let me go ahead and show you guys. So this is a different version of the rifle that we've gotten with the Argert stuff before. I'm not exactly sure why it says two on it, but the gun itself is really nice. I actually kind of miss this one. I wish that they still made this one or at least a newer version of this one where we don't have the um, drum. We just have the magazine and the, this, this is more of a carbine. And I really like that. I really like the compactness of it, like an M4 instead of the M16 that they're holding on to. And it fits in his hands perfectly fine. And what I like about this one that obviously makes it very unique is that the barrel itself is wrapped in actual cloth. And this portion right here does come off, though technically you could wrap it better and then boom, make it look like he's some kind of ops, um, which is again, very dope, or you can add it to one of your new characters, make them look like they are ops. Um, but it's fairly well done. I don't know if you can tell, but the butt is more of a bronzish color and the rest of it is a metal gray. Um, but again, because it's this gray color, you don't necessarily get a lot of that granulated look to it, but you do get it right there and how dirty that sash is that goes around it. But again, I think this is a dope piece. All right, you guys, so when it does come to articulation, this guy does have 
fairly decent from what we have now actually it's fairly identical but there are a few places where it's a little bit different so as far as i can tell this one does seem to have just a little bit more range in the neck due to how far that bottom piece can move the base of the neck but he can basically look straight up into the sky like he's superman straight down like he's going to break his neck and then you do get some side to side pivot and of course the full 360 at the shoulders they're exposed so there's nothing there's it doesn't have those sleeves that kind of make them kind of come up to this far you can go all the way into a y pose so yeah i guess that's a benefit in certain ways and then at the uh, elbow it is single joint and you do get about a little maybe a little bit past 90 degrees though i feel like what we have now can do better so that's definitely something to note and then he does have the cowboy grip in his hand which does do a full 360 oh, came off and then on the other side he has the push-up grip that goes up and down so that's a little bit um that's perfectly fine having one in one is fine all right, so I decided to pull a Skellywags TV here and actually pull everything off of him real quick just so you can see the underbody. So this is what it looks like. Definitely not as good as what we have now, though fairly comparable. Um, he can basically go that far under, that far back, and even with the armor, he can do some of that, though not as much. And then he does have at the waist the cut, the waist swivel, um, which he can do a full 360, but this one is very tight. Now when it comes to the legs, not a problem, you do get, um, that's actually about as far as they go, which is further than you'll need. These guys aren't doing the splits, they're not Johnny Cage. And then obviously he can go um, and forward and kick straight to 90 degrees. He does have the swivel at the very top, so it does do that motion right here. Double joint at the knees, which allows him to, let's see, oh, that's a problem that Acid Rain still has today. The leg just kind of pops off, um, but he can kick his own ass, which is nice. And then as you can tell, it's about as far as the leg points. And then it points down, I would say about as far as you can with what you have available. All right, so when it does come to this king figure, this is a lot of what we've always liked about Acid Rain. Highly articulated, a lot of paint, a bit of modularity to them. There's really not much to bash on here. Um, we're going to go ahead and do a quick close-up comparison so we can go ahead and see how far they've come. But again, I think that this king uh, is really not, there's no problem with this one. It's just the new ones are just improved and a little better and more realistic. And that's usually how things should go. Though ultimately I will say now that I know what Acid Rain is today, this isn't nearly as impressive as it might have been when I first bought it. And again, that's just a natural evolution of toys. You might like this a little bit more. I remember Damon said something about the fact that uh, Acid Rain has kind of gone away from its original uh, aesthetic. And I would say that in some ways I do agree and in some ways... No, to be honest, I do agree. They have gone away, but I feel like that's just a natural progression of certain toys. But again, um, this one isn't nearly as impressive of what I feel I have today. And Acid Rain always left me with a little bit of wanting until the most recent stuff that I bought when I first started this line again. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what that is. All right, you guys. So let's run through these um, size comparisons. So first we have the Glaucus Infiltrator, which as you can tell is a little bit larger overall. Um, body armor and everything and you can tell that there are obviously some advancements in the way the body looks definitely different from the original um, Forsetti that we got in this version of armor now here we have the stealth trooper and as you can tell this is a little bit more in line with the overall size but definitely a different look overall definitely more updated with a lot of the nuances that we get today in um, today's acid rain stuff but as you can tell like from the legs up they do look fairly similar but um, on the left the acid rain has those bigger hips while um, the acid rain on the right seems to be more um, I feel is more correctly um, engineered and now compared to acid rain's best figure thus far which is this NAUS Kelsey combat trainer this king pales in comparison um, some of the more infantry looking stuff I think is gonna hold itself up just a little bit more but this king looks absolutely outdated compared to this Kelsey um, uh, some of the other stuff that I showed you definitely can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this Kelsey figure um, but this Kelsey figure is honestly one of the best and if you have seen my review or if you haven't checked it out I know Skelly just put one out as well but this is absolutely fire um, on the right while on the left is just such a big basic look um, that it almost makes me not want this character at all but again that's how it should be this is the natural evolution kelsey has almost thicker arms uh, more dynamic looking body armor um, paint that looks a bit more uh, updated and real head sculpt um, you know a hat hair 
she looks larger than him which is something that i really really like here um and this is just a night and day difference overall of just engineering and how far acid rain has come so again no knock to some of the old stuff this is how it should be um but definitely this this is what i mean when i say old acid rain left me wanting when i would buy them and it wasn't until their more recently recent releases with these sand stuff that made me just go wow i think acid rain has really found its step and really it wasn't even that it was more so the stealth stuff that really uh, launched the whole thing now obviously with that said showing a little bit more stealth we have this camel bot right here which obviously towers him by a bunch and this is more or less the size that they're going to look like um this right here is our upcoming primary space marine in height um but yeah as you can tell just a phenomenal look overall just an overall phenomenal look for the camel bot obviously and i'm really happy that we didn't get camel bots back then because i only imagine how much worse they would have been um and they brought them out when acid rain had the ability to really give us something that was way more advanced and way more cool looking like what we have right here now up next here we have one of the joy toy us forces now this is an older buck right here so it does look a little bit different than some of the newer stuff that we're gonna get and as you can tell height wise it's almost a little bit bigger and let me just bring kelsey back in shazam look i mean yeah she doesn't look as tall but look how much broader and bulkier and just more thuggish she looks i love that so i don't know this isn't my you should go buy kelsey review this is my king review but you know what it really is but that's a really good size comparison of how far again they've come with acid rain and just the overall look and the aesthetic and how much more cartoony we have it on the left how much more realistic we have it on the right and how currently acid rain kind of splits the difference and then last but not least of course here we have the most recently acquired joy to world war ii stuff um, this is the american um, airborne division and as you can tell very realistic looking um, obviously these are two different toys and this is coming from you know joy toy which is one of the more realistic figures compared to acid rain that from the get-go if its inception has always been more of this cartoony kind of comic book look um, but size wise these look pretty good um, i want to say that buck uh, excuse me king doesn't look too small in comparison but again this is just a good look overall um, even if it is more of a retro um, uh, view to it now for the sake of comparison i do want to show you guys how far you know somebody from argerts has come in terms of acid rain so i showed you everything on the right and now on the left we have something from the sand division so let me go ahead and show you guys some of the key differences now first and foremost the pelvic region seems to be I don't know a little bit shorter which i kind of like because it elongates the body which makes it look a lot more realistic on top of that these shoulders pop out way more but they look natural because even though they do pop out which does give them a greater range of motion in their shoulders it's actually covered so something that i hadn't realized until recently is this isn't a closed shoulder this shoulder does in fact go a full 90 degrees the only reason why it looks like it can't is because this right here is supposed to basically not show you this ugly joint that we get right here. So while you don't get the full Y pose that you could, you still can get 90 degrees and it looks way nicer with these more realistic bulky shoulders that also don't have the cut. Now on top of that, instead of being one whole piece, we do get a bicep swivel. And then as you guys notice right there, that um, one joint at the elbow gives us way past 90 degrees unlike over here where this king figure is already maxed out at under 90 degrees um, the body on the bottom side looks fairly similar but as you can tell there's a bit more paintwork overall on this character than on uh, king basically all the way throughout most of the body and then we did get these um, basically every single figure came with this sort of um, pistol uh, holder um, which I kind of didn't like as much because it kind of didn't allow them to bring their legs close together. Unlike, let's say, some of the female characters like Kelsey and other um, female characters that got more this style. Where it's basically a band that connects in between the um, upper thigh and uh, lower leg. Which is, I think, a more uh, overall better look. But I do really like this, uh, this look and it does make them look overall different from other factions which is nice the legs are basically unchanged in terms of what they can do all right their function i'll put that back on in a sec but the form factor is there and i obviously do like it and then of course something that i wasn't able to do earlier but you can do with these guys 
is you are able to remove the helmet completely. And as you can tell, it is a different helmet overall, though I wouldn't necessarily say it's more well painted. Um, this was still more of their basic looking figures, um, just with a lot more new articulation to them. Um, and overall, this is a better figure, without a doubt, than the King figure. Again, not to say that it's a bad figure, it's just obviously in the evolution of the characters, this has come a long way into looking much more realistic and much more badass um, than what we've gotten before. All right, Trial Mob, so this video was not made for me to bash on Acid Rain stuff that is retro, that is some of their older stuff. That's not the case here. I just wanted to highlight how far Acid Rain has just come and basically just all the advancements that we've seen in overall um, quality and what the figures come with and just the overall ability to make a better figure that is really more worth the price point. Obviously, Acid Rain has kind of jumped up even more lately, and it's really going to be up to you whether you want to purchase to some of their newer stuff because some of the pricing is starting to get a little ridiculous i might pass up on some stuff i might not i'm doing everything i can to try to get the best price but there's only so much you can do to a base price right um with that said i do like this buck and back when i first bought him i really liked him a lot i played a fair amount with him you know put him in dioramas with other figures um again acid rain wasn't all that easy to get and just because this one isn't necessarily impressive doesn't necessarily mean that other of their retro stuff isn't fairly impressive. If you look at what Acid Rain is doing right now, all the Omanga stuff that we're getting is really just repaints. Um, they are not doing anything to the Omanga stuff, and to be honest, they look like they can still go toe-to-toe -to -toe in terms of being figures compared to what's uh, here now. So I don't know if Omanga just kind of came into play a little bit later, and thanks to that, it got, you know, more updated stuff that stands the time better than this King figure but overall i still think this is worth getting if you are an original fan but if this isn't you if this wasn't the figure that you bought or any of the bucks team stuff honestly i think that these figures are going to leave you something wanting the omanga stuff definitely buy they're hard to get and it looks like we might not even be getting re-releases so definitely buy that stuff but when it comes to the more basic figures i still feel that you're going to be left wanting and you should just forget about that and get what is the newer sets right um the newer stuff a walk in the garden and all that or walk in the park whatever it's called and then of course all their newer releases i think those are not going to leave you wanting they're actually going to make you want to continue buying more while wow, some of this older stuff honestly was something that made me feel like maybe I wasn't going to buy another one. But again, that's my opinion. It's your choice what you want. But this was my first retro review. I hope you did like it. Please smash that like button. Subscribe. I will be bringing more retro stuff as I'm able to get my hands on it, including hopefully some more manga stuff. And of course, I'll keep bringing you guys news and reviews on TBG. And I will catch you guys on the next feature. All right, you guys. Deuces.